Hello people, hello and welcome to another vlog of the India Darshan Travel Series. Hello from Vadodara. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning, about to check out from my hotel here. Uh, did a whole bunch of exploration yesterday. Well, whole bunch, whatever there was to see. Um, now there is only a garden left, so uh, I'm planning to move to the next destination, which is going to be closer to the Statue of Unity, another iconic spot in the south of Gujarat. And it's about 70 odd kilometers from here, so not planning to come back here. I'm going to go there, stay there and move further from there. So should take us about two to two and a half hours because we have to also drive nice and slow um, so let's hit the road and let's move to the next destination and check off one more bucket list item So finally after 2.5 hours of riding nice and slow, we've made it to Ekta Nagar. That's the Ekta Nagar railway station behind me in Kevadia um, district, I guess. Um, so if you take the rail, the rail mode of transport from Ahmedabad or from Vadodara, this is where you get off. And from here, the Statue of Unity is about 10 odd kilometers. So around the railway station, I'm looking for an accommodation so that I can camp out for the night before I go to explore that uh, Sadar Sarovar statue. And, uh, you know, Sadar Sarovar Dam, Statue of Unity, etc. But most of these are like resorts. So for example, that's a foreign resort that's high end. I spoke to a few other resorts also that range between 2,000 to 3,000 rupees a night uh, plus taxes. So it's a bit on the premium side. So I'm still exploring, gonna explore a little bit more to find a bit more budget friendly accommodation, um, drop the luggage there, and then we'll be out on the road again. Thankfully, it's past noon, but it's not super boiling today, so I can still go out and explore, so make use of the time while I'm here. So, next mission is to find accommodation first. So found myself a nice and spacious budget stay. So this is a very, very big room. I think there is a single bed there. There is a double bed here. So again, three person occupancy. Comes with AC, no Wi-Fi. And I opted for breakfast at an additional price. So this is the Hotel BRG, which is accounted for in the same premises as the Statue of Unity. So it's just seven kilometers from the Statue of Unity. Um, so not too far away. So I'm gonna set up my stuff here. Uh, put the bags in the Almira and then what's inside the washroom? Huh, pretty cool washroom. 
So yeah, and then uh, head out for lunch and then Statue of Unity. So all settled in and uh, going to grab some lunch here at the campus itself. So it's a pretty big campus. They have two towers and when you check in, they decide which tower to give you. The non-AC rooms are way cheaper, like one third the price of the AC room. So I don't understand the pricing, but that's a possibility. It's a little bit too hot for non-AC rooms. And they have a nice garden here and there there is a canteen a restaurant and the covered parking so that's where i'm gonna go and then leave for the statue right away So that's the Statue of Unity in a distance. So we are about two kilometers away from it. And if you have a two wheeler, you can take your private vehicle, but four wheelers are not allowed beyond a certain police check post. So they send you back to the parking lot. You park there and then you can either take an e-rickshaw or the bus that shuttles you there. Um, but luckily on a two wheeler, you're allowed. So I'm going there all the way to the parking. Let's park and understand about the ticket pricing. So this is what I understood so far. So there are a bunch of points here to see. So this is where I am at the statue point. Uh, the Valley of Flowers is where you have a two-wheeler parking. So I came here to grab the tickets. I took a 150 rupee ticket to go to the footsteps of the statue and explore the view around. Valley of Flowers is included in this and the laser show that they have at the evening hours is kind of full. So they say you can come here at the bus station. So this is a bus station where the shuttle buses come. So they say go to the Valley of Flowers. You can park your vehicle there, check out the Sardar Sarovar Dam and the Valley of Flowers there. Hop on the bus, come back here. And there's also the cactus and butterfly garden where I can take my two wheeler. So let's go to the Valley of Flowers, check that out. Go to the dam. Cactus and Butterfly Garden and then on the way back we'll take a shuttle bus here and come here and they say uh, go to all of these points before 5 p.m. so it's almost 2 30 so let's go there first and start checking things off our list. So my first uh, pit stop for the day is going to be the Sadar Sarovar Dam. So it's named after the same person whose statue we are going to check later, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. So this is one of the largest uh, water resource projects of India, it spans Narmada River across four states. So right now, of course, because of the dry spell, there is no water at the dam, but this is a gravity dam. So must look really cool when the water is gushing through it. But anyways, now that I'm here, I'm going to check it out and then we're going to move on to the Valley of Flowers. Must be cool seeing the Narmada river flow from here in full glory. Right now there is just like a tiny stream flowing from there. And they have set up benches over here so you could enjoy the view. Perhaps during the rainy season or thereafter when the water is full would be a nice time to be here. But as you can see now being off season and nearly 40 plus degrees soaring heat. It's like you have the entire place to yourself. So you get one thing or the other. There's pros and cons of everything. But yeah, I liked it here. Uh, spent some time here. Now I'm gonna go check out the value flowers and you can even see the statue from right here. We're just like one kilometer away, so it's not too far. So you can hop on the bus or you could practically walk. It should take like less than 15 minutes to get there. We'll think about that afterwards, but for now, because we also have to go to the cactus garden and because it's a separate paid ticket. So I'd rather, you know, go do all of these things first and then come back here park again and then hop on the shuttle and go there once and for all so let's see what the evening looks like out there but yeah so far really enjoying it off season is quite a good time to be here
So I came to one end of the uh, Valley of Flowers. Here you get some shade and also a nice view of the Statue of Unity in the distance. So that's a really cool kind of sight because I think when you get close, you get really, really close. So you have to figure out a way to get the um, entire four, uh, statue in one frame because this is the world's tallest statue standing at 182 meters high. So yeah, would be a bit difficult to take a selfie right there. So I have a couple back up from here. But yeah, it's getting a little bit warm, so the plan is to rest up here in the shade for a little bit and uh, take a few pictures from here. And then we'll head on over to the cactus garden, which uh, cactus and butterfly garden, which apparently is just a kilometer away, but seems to be like a serpentine route. So would we'll take about 11 to 12 minutes. So we're going to start heading there soon because it's 3 p.m. already. Spend about half an hour or so over there and then uh, come back here and rest up take the shuttle, go to the statue, see what else we explore. But yeah, I was hoping to spend more time at the dam, but yeah, the, <laughs> the dam is pretty bone dry at this point. So we're just a couple of kilometers out of uh, Cactus Garden and the Butterfly Garden. That's the Statue of Unity again and Google was actually incorrect. So I was following the direction that Google gave me that was the road right beside the Valley of Flowers and it says go straight. But the cop stopped me and said that's not the route. So technically that's the side where we were on before we were at the Statue of Unity. So you have to go all around, go over the bridge, cross the river, come over this side and then continue forward. So. We were there before and we are here now on the other side of Narmada River and net is about 12 to 15 kilometers, not just one kilometer. So we're gonna go check out the garden and here's the statue yet again and we're gonna get to the footsteps. I think somewhere there, there is the green paddock. Uh, more or less that's where you can go towards the statue. And later they said that they do like a projection mapping and tell the story of Sadar Vallabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, but uh, the seats are taken. So we're gonna go see that from the bus station. But for now, let's check out the butterfly garden. So that entrance gate behind me should give away that I am now at the cactus and the butterfly garden. It's a joint premise for both and on the other side of the street there is also a cactus trail. So a couple of more varieties of cacti that you can walk around the trail. And then again there is the Statue of Unity right there. So you can take another view of that. So we're gonna go inside the greenhouse and check out the variety of cacti out here and hopefully get to see some butterfly as well. First time seeing the colourful cacti, there's like so many of them and they seem to be thriving well given the harsh conditions so it's kind of like home for them. I'm just going to walk around this little greenhouse, see what all varieties of cacti exist. I've only seen just a couple, I don't even know the names or half of them but it's the first time seeing like a cacti conservation site. This is one of a kind of a nursery where you don't need a board sign that says do not pluck or touch. <laughs> People naturally steer clear of the thorny cacti. Yeah, interesting. Um, now we're gonna go outside and check out the butterfly garden. Still didn't see a board sign but the guy confirmed that it's inside somewhere.
mostly done exploring the cactus and the butterfly gardens. So this one is like the cactus trail, but the butterfly garden was quite different from what I had expected. So the butterfly gardens that I've visited previously, for example, one in Hong Kong, or I think there was one in Singapore too, but those had like a separate greenhouse where the butterflies used to just fly around free. And if you put on a cap with some uh, sponge with some sweet nectar, they come and sit on your hat and you take selfies and stuff. Here, I think they just put out plants in the open and during the season there would be butterflies, but right now it's too hot. So the only butterflies that you see are the caricatures that they put around the park. And this is like a cactus throne. So I decided to sit on it and get some rest before heading back to the statue. Finally entered the Statue of Unity premises around 5 p.m. Got done with the security check and frisking. Now going to the statue, the foot steps of the statue basically, like the foot of the statue, so I can take the views around and just check in the check out the views. Um, this place closed at 6 p.m. because that's when they start the projection mapping at the statue itself. So you have to go to the viewing deck. Um, if you have a ticket, but since I don't, since it's already packed, I have to go back to the bus bay. So at 6 p.m. you get kicked out of here. So I'm gonna make use of the time. And most of the other places around, like the Valley of Flowers, the Cactus Garden, etc., they all start to close at 5 p.m. So or 5 p.m. is the last entry or something like that. So Glow Garden, etc., for example, are better at night, but they are all closing early. Could have something to do with the heat and low footfall of the people of season but typically during the season I think it opens till later so you can enjoy the nice uh, lit up scenes um, in the evening but we'll see what we can see today um, with what we have. So walking around a rare conditioned gallery where there is a small scale replica of the actual statue and we're gonna go, there was an escalator upstairs but I have to figure out which one I need to take because there is a viewing gallery that brings you up to the chest height of the statue and you have a front and back view from there but that requires a special ticket and a, you have to, oh yeah, here. So you take the elevators from here and you go up but I'm not doing that so I think I take the escalators on the outside and I'll stay around the feet of the statue, uh, which is good enough for me. I don't want to go up because then you lose the actual essence of the uh, standing next to a very tall statue. So I'm just going to check out the exhibits here and then go out and uh, go up the escalator. Oh, and while uh, coming back from the Valley of Flowers, along the way there is an ecotourism point where there is, the, I think it's the Zarvani waterfalls. So I stopped by and I asked the staff what's there to see inside. They said it's just the waterfall, but it's the dry season. So now is not the best time to go inside. You're going to get bored. Um, it only starts after the rainfall, where I think they also start doing river rafting and other adventure activities around as well. So skip that. And then there is also a Kamulam Park. Sounds like a lotus park that was also closed and people were doing some renovations. But everything else I saw, except for the jungle safari, I think that's also a possibility here. But I skipped that uh, to spend more time here.
So that was an epic experience, just sitting by the statue for a little bit, about to leave the premises. So I spoke to the guard when I was standing and taking selfies up there, and he explained that the Glow Garden opens at 8 p.m. once this laser projection show completes here, so that people can go there and it stays open till 9 p.m. until, and that's until when the buses, the shuttle buses, also run. In case if you want to ferry between the two places, but yeah, I'm gonna go out and then the laser show starts at 7:30, um, 7:30 to 8, something like that. So since we don't have a seat anyway, there isn't a place or a spot to reserve. So I'm just gonna start walking and just chill by the busway. There won't be a place to sit there, so I'm kind of replenishing my energy right here. And after that, we'll be on our way back to the hotel. Won't be able to close the vlog after that because it will get dark. But if I don't see you again, hope you enjoyed the vlog today. And I'll see you again in another episode of the India Darshan Travel Series. Uh, tomorrow we'll be on the move again. But before you leave, do check out the laser projection show at the Statue of Unity, the world's tallest statue. Until then, see you again the next time.